Anytime you're ready. Shannon. That's the, that's actually the that's the jingle. He does the worst song. Like he just makes up the worst. Songs. I think you could sing to me all day. I'd be fine. Shannon. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yeah, just uh, stopping by to check on my bro. I'm making a run at the open. I just need a partner. Are you serious? Um, for you guys, what was the most challenging part of each of these characters? Because you have played quite a, a variety of characters. Tennis. In the tennis, man. <laughs> but you both play tennis, right? Yeah, so... but it's just, if you're not used to playing in front of a camera or playing in front of a bunch of people, when people are waiting for you to get it right, you know, it's it took me some getting used yeah. to, and I was scared. I and you mean, didn't want stunt doubles, right? So you did it all yourself. Correct? I would have gladly had <laughs> stunt doubles, but the movie, it wasn't that kind of movie. We wanted the tennis to feel real yeah. and 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 alive, and and we were good enough to to you know to have those points, you know. The hardest thing for me, I think, was being more muted than I'm used to, you know, as a character, and like uh, he he sort of has that no no filter. Uh, Character. Character. Filter, yeah, he's, uh, and you know, I, I think Darren has a pretty big filter and he's a pretty scared guy, so uh, that was hard to kind of get back into that groove, but I actually Because you have no fear in your life? I literally live without fear, it was something, I don't have an amygdala, which is a part of the brain that... <laughs> so you've played quite a, a wide variety of characters in your career, what was it about this movie, the script of the character that really made you want to be a part of it? The script, the script, the script, you know, is always what I'm drawn to. And, and in this case, it was, uh, to me, the ideal combination of like funny, 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 like laugh out loud when you're turning the pages funny, and, uh, but grounded and real and uh, um, just believable. We need to be in tune with each other. We need to be in sync. Go. <laughs> Great to see you two together. Um, and I also love where your characters are trying to reconnect. So while you're playing the game, you're, you're literally asking the most basic questions you could about each other. Hmm. So I figured we would just get to know you a little better. So okay. I just have to know what's your favorite food. I like beans, bean cheese burritos. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I yelled at you. <laughs> no, I feel like that's how he would answer it. Yeah. He'd be yelling at me. I love bean and cheese burritos. I also like peanut butter and honey. I like uh, mugu gai pan oh, or uh, tom yum soup. <laughs> <laughs> or prick king prick. <laughs> you know that one? I love King Prick. No, uh, yeah, Pad Thai. I'm a, uh, yeah, I like Asian food. What's your guilty pleasure TV show? Uh, I think Beverly Housewives of Beverly Hills. Okay. Yeah, we can so watch yeah. that. Well, Mahana does, so then I just uh, end up saying this sucks, and then I'm like, secretly, you're like, <laughs> yeah, I'm secretly over the shoulder watching it. Uh, what, what is, what'd you call your it? Guilty pleasure. Guilty pleasure, right, yeah. on TV. Um, you know, it's not a guilty pleasure because it's great, but I guess BoJack Horseman, I'm kind of into Oh, that. nice, yeah. yeah. Our neighbor producer. Uh, a movie that the always movie. makes you cry. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's oh. a good one. Uh, you know what it is for me? This yeah. might sound a little heady or intellectual. Schenectady, New York. Schenectady, I think it's called. Oh, I've never seen that. It's Charlie Kaufman's directorial debut, oh, and wow. it's wonderful. It it's, an like it's an abstract kind of, uh, but oh, yeah. that movie kills makes me. Makes you cry. Yeah. It does at the end. I'll just watch the end and I'll cry. Yeah. Brave, brave. I, I think the, the movie that made me cry the hardest and that the first time I ever cried in a movie, which is always implanted, was Dead Poet Society. Oh, Captain, my captain. Mm. Get up on, the up on this table. Just water works. He watches it standing on a table. <laughs> yeah, I do. Just got an offer to play doubles again. With who? Brother. He's an idiot. You have nothing to lose. You're just single, unemployed. Yeah, I get it. You literally have nothing to lose. If you guys had to team up with a past character that you've played, who do you think would be the best uh, doubles partner in the worst? Not necessarily based on sports ability, but just a getting along. A past character? Yeah. Oh, that we've played in our right. careers. Well, you have. Oh, in a past career. Yeah, who would you team up with of your past characters? Well, and there was this serial killer I played <laughs> in a hideaway. He'd be intimidating. I know, he'd just stand yeah. on the court. Yeah. And if we didn't win, then yeah. he would just... So, so you, but you'd win we'd move ahead in the yeah. tournament. He'd find a way to get rid of those other people if he did it. I think the best would maybe be my uh, my character from For Love of the Game, just because he's, you know, a former, you know, major league athlete. So he's obviously he got the, pressure the athletic skills and, and understands the, the pressures that he's dealing with. Um, the worst would be, I'm trying to think of the, the least physical, well, I guess the worst, the worst partner would probably be Vern Schillinger from Oz, just because 
He's a crazy bastard. True. You have a lot of characters that could be bad. I was thinking, you know, Fletcher and J. Jonah, they would just be yelling the entire time. So yeah, J. Jonah would always be too. blaming you for everything, <laughs> exactly. whether it was your fault or not. It's like, you, you yeah. hit it out, but yeah. it's like not it. Probably, it would be fun to be out there with um, this super douchebag I played named Dr. Rick on Fire Fired Up. Up. Yeah. He'd be fun out there because he would annoy the, the opponent so much that they would I feel like be, he'd be so perfect. bad at the game too. Though. Yeah, but he like, thought he would think he was good. I, I love the taglines that. that are being used on the posters, mm. all the tennis puns. If you had to come up with one for the movie, what would it be? These balls are your balls. Have a ball, boy. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> we should call marketing. Uh, What's yours? Uh, mine would be um, if you play a lot. They start yellow, but if you play a lot, they turn brown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I couldn't do better than they've done. I mean, it takes balls to get back in the game. It's, you know, it, uh, it's pretty good. What do you hope people walk away with with this film? Like, what message do you hope it sends? Well, I think, you know, uh, ultimately it really is, I mean, it's just funny. It's just really entertaining and funny, funny, funny. So so it's, it's just, you know, it's worth going to theater just for that alone, to have some laughs, because as we all know, laughter Best good best. for your your body, your spirit, your mind, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's about real people, you know, making an effort to come together. You're in Mr. McCarthy's yeah. office, and, and RJ is like leaning back in a chair, and then one take, he just goes, <laughs> and his legs just go back in his legs. What's the most challenging part about becoming Tracy? Um, I think the lack of washed clothes. We shot over 60 days, and I wear like two outfits in the entire movie. 